Hey guys, Dan Alexander here from Prestige Dog Grooming School and the Everyday Pet Groomer. Um, I promised you guys some tutorials this week. Uh, I know we've talked a lot about doodles, but that's because it's totally the life of everyday pet groomers. So I've got a great puppy doodle here with amazing, really thick hair. So I'm just going to show you guys a couple tips and tricks. Um, so we're just going to kind of groom together for a little bit. I've missed you guys. So, um... Let me flip you over. I'm also going to show you a couple little goodies again. A couple little sneak peeks into some stuff that's going to be coming in the new year. So, uh, doodle tips and tricks. Let's get right to it. Let me flip you around and hand you over to the camera, people. Okay. Okay, so we actually have this girl. She's all prepped and ready. She's been done in a three-quarter inch. So, I've done her on the light purple three-quarter inch on my uh, four-in-one clippers here. And a little sneak peek, these are something coming out in the new year. I'll give you guys a tiny little peek there. So they're part of a new line that's coming out. So anyways, we've done her on those. I just want to show you guys how bougie these are. With a nice LCD display. They show the speed, how much time you've got left, five hour battery power time. And you can also go to 7,000 RPMs, which is great for these really thick doodles. And they're super light and perfectly balanced. So super excited to, just a little sneak peek guys, can help myself. Okay, so I've done her in about three quarter inch on the body. I like to do my little cheats and I used a half inch on the underside areas, including on the inside of the back legs, which is gonna save me on scissoring time. I've got, uh, you, how, what comb you use really, really matters too. So you really want a very fine, light comb, but long bristles so that you can actually, sorry, long pins so that you can actually get through all this coat. If your comb is too short, you're not gonna get through everything and be able to lift the coat up how you need. It also needs to be fine enough that you're actually getting through. And not just fine in how close the pins are together, but how fine the pins themselves actually are. This comb is super light and aluminum also coming out in the new year. So it's really important to have those combs that are strong so you can get through those mats and stuff, but they have to be lightweight and the pins themselves, the diameter of them have to be very small so you can get in here and separate the coat properly, which is what we can do here. And this coat is one of those super fine, it's one of the coats that we absolutely hate doing as groomers. So this is one of those ones you gotta go over like a bazillion times and prep it perfectly. So my staff prepped this for me and they actually did a great job. So. Anyways, I'm going to get right to the scissoring. We're going to come right in. Um, let's start with the feet. Remember that our body clipper work is point A. So when we came in with our three quarter inch, I came right to the elbow and swept off into the front leg. Make sure you're coming right to that elbow area in your front shoulder too. A lot of people miss this front shoulder. Really carve out that front shoulder. That's going to help your legs set a nice straight line. I'm going to follow that line through all the way to my back hip. When I come right through that back hip, I'm going to do the same thing, fade it out. Save your work with clippering, guys, instead of trying to go at it with scissoring. Every time that you try to just scissor everything, you're actually making your grooms a lot less efficient. Do as much work with clippers as you humanly possibly can, which is going to make your grooms a lot faster, more consistent, and you'll be able to end up increasing your income. Okay. So now that our point A is done, now we need to do point B, which is our feet. So we're going to start at the back right here. Oops, sorry, let me re-plug you guys in. Technical difficulties. Okay, guys. Okay, so we're going to start with our back foot. Comb everything towards yourself. I'm going to come in with my curved shears. And the first step you wanna do is level everything with the toe pads. Look at all the hair that is longer than the toe pads. Can you guys see that? So everything that is longer than those toe pads, just whack it off. No rhyme or reason, anything longer than the toe pads that is not level with these pads needs to come off, okay? What happens is then when you set that down, now do you see how my comb doesn't touch anything? And hover while we're plugging in after. Nothing touches. That's really, really important to getting the perfect beveled foot, okay? Is that nothing now touches. So then when I come back in, you'll want to pop over onto this side of me. There we go. 
pop over to this side so I can see. Okay, so now that that's completely leveled off on the bottom, then I'm going to lift my foot up, comb everything towards myself. I'm going to come in with my curved shears, and I'm going to think about cutting this into a square shape. When I come in with my curved shears, I'm going to slightly angle underneath, and I'm going right to the nails. Right to the nails, but slightly angled underneath, not straight up and down. See that? Not straight up and down, angled under. Okay, straight cut across. I'm going to do the same thing here, slightly angled under, straight cut across. Same thing on the other side, angled underneath, not straight up and down, angled under. And now, do you see how it's a square shape? Now I can just come in and take the corners off. Again, slightly angled under. Okay? That's gonna set up your general shape. Set your foot down. Do you guys see how we almost just have a top layer that's coming over top? But the general shape is there. I'll bring my dog back. Okay. Okay, so now when I come, my shear is slightly angled underneath. All I need to do is trim that, that top layer that's not matching. And I can just follow the shape that I've already created underneath. And then I'm gonna come and go my shear slightly up and down and come for that last layer. This is a super fast, efficient way to get adorable, perfect looking feet every time and also to end up not ending up pointing them. I know a ton of groomers have this issue. We end up making the feet pointy. We all hate doing it, we all do it. And then just keep combing that out and touching it up underneath the angle first, and then come back up and down, okay? Can you see how nice that's looking? Super cute, adorable foot, comb out. You're always gonna find little things to touch up. I always say comb out and repeat at least three times. The better prepped your coat is, the better and easier this process is. Okay, so we got that foot down. So now we got point B done. We've got point A done where our clipper work was. Now it's these two worlds that we need to marry together. Do you guys see how it's the in-between that's a mess? So that's what we now need to marry together. So I'm gonna comb, I like to think of a seam down the center of the dog's leg, and I like to comb everything one way forward and the rest back. So if you look, it's the profile of the leg that I'm gonna focus on first, okay? I'm gonna come in with my new set of chunkers here, Prestige Elite line, coming in, and I'm just gonna follow that outline. Because I did the inside with a half inch, two lengths shorter than her body, I saved myself a ton of scissoring time and made myself a lot less scissor work to do on this outline. Coming in, just get that outline. She's got lots of thick hair, so we can just come in, start to outline her. But because we did all that work on the inside already, this is a lot easier. Once I've done it once, comb it out. Remember the rule, repeat. Second time around, should be far less hair. Okay, do you see how that outline is starting to come together? Scissoring should be your cherry on top, not your be-all and end-all. The clipper work is your be-all and end-all, as well as your prep work. Now I'm going to focus on this back outline. Coming up, coming in, just following the outline, the shape that I've left. And these are completely hand-scissored legs, their natural length. I haven't done any clipper work on the legs themselves. just following the general shape. I'm not doing any on the hawk because we are growing that out. That'll make a more extreme angled leg if we can grow in that hawk hair. So I'm gonna let that grow in. So now I'm gonna come at it a second time. Remember second time should be far less work than the first time. Remember less is more with scissoring, it's not rocket science. Okay, comb down to check your work. You see how nicely the outline is coming now? Okay, now if we come look at it from a side view, so I'll get to it. Now I'm going to fluff it up. Do you guys see everything that doesn't match? So come in, remember point A is your clipper work, point B was your foot. Marry those worlds together. Okay, start to tip in as you get to your point A, which was your clipper work. And same thing as you come down, start to tip in 
slightly as you get to your foot, okay? It's just following lines. I'm just gonna comb out. You guys see that line that needs to be married together? See, it's not rocket science, guys. Just follow general lines. Okay, comb down to check your work. And now we can do the same thing on the inside of the leg. Comb it out. Come down. All the way to the foot. Slightly tip in as you get to the foot. Okay. Come down to check your work. You guys see how we can get a nicely scissored leg. If you want to detail, I take some of that foot hair. See, I've got a little bit too much foot hair going on here. So I'm just going to round that in. And come and look at that from the side view from where we started. You see how we just focus on the profiles? We're going to grow that hawk in. But that's how you guys want to start, is make sure you've got your clipper work down. So your point A is your clipper work, your point B is your foot, and then marry the two worlds together. Hope that all made sense. I hope those tips and tricks will help you guys out. Um, I'm glad to be back, and I hope to see you guys again soon. Bye.